everyone. My name is Chevy Williams and I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. And I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. So guess what? Let's get excited about today's workout. Guess what? Welcome to day 20 of the 30 day challenge. Whoop, whoop. We are 10 days left. We have 10 days left of this challenge. I cannot believe it. Can you guys believe it? 10 days. So first of all, let me uh, welcome you to day 10 of the 30 day challenge. Now, if you are new, thank you for joining us. You can still join us. It does not matter. I'll give you the rules before we get started. Also, make sure you guys are showing up. We're right at the end. Don't quit now. Also, make sure you share this video. If you haven't had a chance, head over to YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, LBX Fitness. That way you know when I post the videos. And then you get the chance to do them anytime you want. Or if you need to play catch up, they are there for you 24 hours, 7 days a week. Now we are doing two challenges this month. We're working our abs, right? All this right here. We're working our back. We're also working some secondary muscles like our um, glutes and our legs and our shoulders. So we have, excuse me, we have um, some other muscle groups that we are working, which is also great. Now, you can grab a chair and use a chair at, for modified versions of the exercises I'll be doing on the floor today. Here are the rules. Number one, always give 100%. No matter what you do, you give 100%. My 100%, your 100% are going to look different and that's okay. Don't worry about that. Number two, do your best. Always, always do your best. Don't just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to do this today. I really don't feel like it. I'm just going to do it. No, do your best. Dig deep down inside and do your best. Number three, important, take breaks. Take as many breaks as you want to get through the workout, right? It does not really matter if you take five breaks, two breaks, one break. If you do five or 15 or 20, as long as you take breaks and then you can just jump back in, take another break, jump back in. The more breaks you take, what you find out later is you'll start to take less breaks because you're getting stronger, you have more endurance. Now let's get started. I'm going to back up. We're going to start with our back today. So let's get started. We're going to start with our bridges. I'm going to lay on the floor. It's going to lay this way today. If you're on the chair, you'll just lay your back on the seat of the chair. We have 17 bridges to do. We're taking our hips, um, pushing them up to the ceiling, squeezing our butts or our glutes. <laughs> Let's get it done. Here we go. On my count, everyone up. Squeeze tight, breathe out. That's one. If you're on the floor, slightly touch your butt to the floor. Two or mat. Three. Make sure you're breathing. Four. Squeeze tight. Five. Now you may say, what am I squeezing? You're squeezing your butt. Six. You'll feel this in your lower back. Seven. Eight. Breathe, breathe. Nine. Take breaks if you need to. Ten. Eleven. Great job. Twelve. We got five left. Let's push through. Five. Squeeze. Four. You can do it. Three. Great job. Let's go. Two. We're almost there. Last one. Great job, everyone. Come on down. If you're in the chair, you're going to sit up. Next is our bird dog. We have 15 bird dogs to do. Now, with bird dog, it requires some balance. If your balance is off, that's okay. You just do this. You just hold your leg up as high as you can while we do the bird dog. We have 15 to do. So we're going to take our opposite arm and leg, put them up in the air at the same time. Just like this. And we're, we're bringing both arm and leg into our body like this. 
That would be one. You breathe out when you come in. Two. You can alternate. Three. Breathe out. You just hold it there. Four. Now, if you're just holding your leg up, five. Make sure your abs are tight. Six. Again, take as many breaks as you need to. Seven. We got this. We're over halfway. Eight. Remember, breathe, you guys. Nine. Give me 100%. Ten. We got five left. Let's go. Five. Four. My balance is getting a little better doing this. Three. As I'm moving all around now. Two. Last one. Great job. Woo! Other leg, other arm. Let's get started. One. Uh-oh. That, that, that side's not good balance. <laughs> Two. We got this. Three. Four. Breathe, you guys. Five. We got ten left. Let's do it. Here we go. Ten. Hold that leg up. Nine. Eight. We got this. Seven. Six. Uh-oh. Five left. Five. Take a break if you need to. Here we are. Four more. Three. Last two, breathe out. Last one. Whew, that actually makes me hot. <laughs> All right, last back exercise. I have these memorized, but no. Superman. We got Superman 10 seconds, three times each. If you're on the chair, you're gonna lay on the chair. Place your hands behind and next to your chest on the chair. Now, um, some alternative, some modified versions, you can just do your feet up, just do your back up like this, or you do both. Here we go, let's get started. Your break's over. <laughs> 10 seconds, let's get started. And go. So I'm just looking down at the floor. Arms and legs up as high as possible, or legs up as high as possible, or arms up as high as possible. The thing I love about this is, guess what? 10 seconds goes by so fast. Look at this nosy dog here. <laughs> All right, so we got another 10 seconds to go. All right, everybody get in your position. Let's get ready. And let's go. 10 seconds. Uh-oh, I need to start the time. There we go. Now, even holding this position, if you need to come down and take a break, that's fine, just do that. You're okay. I just want you to do your best. You push, you give 100%. We got 10 days left on this challenge, you guys. We're gonna start the August challenge. And soon I'm gonna tell you what we're doing for August. All right, last 10 seconds. Here we go with our infamous timer. Everybody in their position, let's get started and go. So when your legs and or arms come up, you activate the lower part of your back. Guess what, you guys? We are done with our back workout. Now flip over. Time to do our abs. If you're sitting in the chair, you're just gonna sit down, feet flat on the floor. You're going to crunch forward. All of us are pretending that there's an apple or a tennis ball between our chin and chest and we're not moving it. So here we go, we have 40 crunches. No, I'm sorry, excuse me. We have 30 crunches to do. Arms behind your head, and if you can interlace them or not, head should be resting on your hands. We have 40. I'll do a couple different models. I mean, that's a couple different ways you can do these on the floor. Let's get started. Up, breathe out, one, two, now if you're in the chair, you're just gonna 
bend forward and breathe out. Four, five. Now, you guys, make sure you visit my website, www.leadingbyexample.us. Sign up for your 15 minute free consultation with me. That's nine, uh oh, 10, one. Two, great job. Three, four, five, six, seven. We got this. Breathe out. Eight. I'm gonna do a different position. Nine. Twenty. Okay, legs up. One. It's a different crunch. Two. Three. Guess what? We got five left to do. Four. You guys are doing great. Three. Again, take breaks if you need to. Two. Breathe out. Four. That was 30. That was fast. Now we're doing heel touch. Now if you are in the chair, you're just going side to side. On the floor, we are touching our heels. So you may need to bring your legs in closer. Or if you can't bring them in that close, that's okay. Try to touch your heels. If you can't, just go twist it side to side and do the motion. If your neck begins to hurt, you take one hand, put it behind your head, and you still twist. But rest in your head in your one hand. Hey, here we go. Everybody up. The goal is to eventually get your shoulder blades off the floor. We got 30 to do. Let's get started. Breathe. One, two. Now, every time you twist, you breathe four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let me slow down. Now, you guys, you guys gotta go side to side in the chair. 10, 11, 12, 13. These usually kill my abs. 14. Halfway. One, two. Take my head, hand. Three, behind my head. Four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, out, one. Oh my goodness, my abs. I think I counted that right. <laughs> I messed up the count somehow, who knows. But we'll call that 30. Last exercise, plank. Now, in the chair, you could do them two ways. You can either be on your hands or your elbows. On the floor, you're going to do them um, three different ways. Hands, elbows, or on your knees, right? This is the knee position. Make sure your sh shoulder, elbow, wrist are aligned. Doesn't matter what position you are in, except if you're on your elbows. We got 45 seconds. Let's get started now. Now, I'm going to be alternating between... Um, put, do it on my hands and on my elbows. So squeeze your butt tight. Do not let your lower back sink. If you're on your knees, you look just like this. I just put my knees down. You can alternate between that and this one as well. Knees, no knees. <laughs> now I'm going to go down on my elbows. Now everybody, add and tight in your breathing. Take breaks if you need to. We've actually worked up to this point. Just jump back in when you can. Guess what, you guys? Guess what? We are done with today's workout. Yes, we got nine days left now. So proud of you guys. Thank you for joining us this morning or this evening whatever time you're doing this it doesn't matter <laughs> so you guys make sure you check out the links in this post for your free offer also again i want to help you reach your weight loss goals so sign up for my 15 minute free consultation where i give you tips on what you can do to reach your weight loss you can go to my website www.leadingbyexample.us on the homepage, uh, scroll down a little bit and you will find where you can sign up. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow for day nine of this awesome challenge. Bye, everyone.